Hey everyone, it is Lex Ariel, and welcome back to the channel today. We are picking up where we left off last episode with our lovely girls trip. It is night one and they are ready to turn up to the fullest, to the max, and all that good stuff. We got all the girls here at this lovely Indian restaurant. I know we were supposed to go to the festival, but it looked kind of boring, so <laughs> I decided to jet over here. I hope you guys are excited, and I hope you are ready to see these lovely ladies in action and just see how their night turns out. We got them all here. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too, and I'm ready to jump in, so let's go. Okay, so before we actually even get into this episode, really quickly, I want to introduce all the girls who are even on this trip. I actually never did that for you guys because some of you are new here to the channel. So yeah, first and foremost, we have the lovely Brielle and Jade, the main girl, the main diva, the main beauty of my LP sitting right here and then next to her. We have Braylee, who is one of Brielle's bestest friends. She is one of the originals. You know, last episode I was like, oh, the originals, newbies or whatever. Yes, Bra Braylee, and I always get their names mixed up, is our girl. We have Tiara, who is a newbie that we met, I think, Two episodes ago or so, it was during the Down Home Blues episode. We met her at the bar and we hung out with her, so we decided to bring her along. Next, we have Diamond, who we met at the Welcome Wagon. This is actually one of Brielle's neighbors. And yes, she is a newbie. Um, I'm actually playing with her off camera, and she is currently engaged to Jamal. And I know a lot of y'all liked Jamal, and I'm like, Ugh, I don't know if I want to mess with him just because... <laughs> I love Diamond, and I don't want to ruin that relationship, but hey, Brielle is always down for some drama. She's always down for some, mm, girl, I'm going to take your man, you know what I'm saying? So hey, we might have to go ahead and slide back into Jamal's knee. And, ah, hey. <laughs> but anyways, next we have Tegan right here, and she is actually Chanel's roommate. We don't know Tegan. Um, Chanel decided to bring her a little plus one, and Chanel is actually um, a newbie too. We actually met her when we met Tiara at the bar, and Brielle decided to tag her along, bring her along, because she thought she was cool, and yeah. And then we got this lovely lady right here who I just love. This is Sade, one of our bestest friends bestest is not a word but i don't care this is one of our bestest friends that we met first she was actually one of riel's first friends and they've been cool ever since so that is shade and that is the reason why we've been here up in san Mychino. and last but not least we got the chick the baddest bitch miss lorena who Brielle just loves and i love and she is definitely one of the originals. Sade, her, and Braylee are the originals, and everyone else is a newbie. So yeah, this is the crew. I hope you guys are excited, and we're just going to see what antics they get into, and yeah. Okay, so we got the girls all here ready to eat and all that good stuff, but before we get into that, I just want to show all this freaking awesome Indian restaurant that I found on the gallery, and I'll be sure to favorite it so y'all can find it on my um, gallery using my Origin ID, which is Lively Lux. It looks super dope, it looks super cool, and I think it's super awesome. And enough with the supers. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into this episode. Um, I'm gonna have you, Braylee, go ahead and order for the table. Even though they're not even that hungry, they shouldn't have eight at the house when I told them that we was gonna come out to dinner, but it's all good. You still gonna eat again, boo, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and order for them. Let, let them get some food for their stomachs and their bellies and all that good stuff. Okay, so here we are in the little menu for Beru's Indian food. And <laughs> let's go ahead and choose what the girls will be eating right now or whatever. Um. First, let's start with these drinks. Uh, you and Shade can get you some red wine. Yes. Um, I have so many drinks in here. And with this <laughs> mod, I got that change of drink name. It just feels so freaking like realistic. Like margarita, yes. Margarita at Indian restaurant. I don't know the likelihood of that, but we just gonna go with it. <laughs> you can get a whiskey, girl. And let's see what else we got on here that we can give to these divas. Ooh, a flirtini. 
I guess I'll go ahead and give to, that to Lorena and a Sherry. Uh, no. Um, we need to give Andre one. Andre, Miss Brielle. Um, you can get a white wine, Braley. And then I guess we'll give this Sherry to Brielle. So, y'all, yeah, that is what we're going to do for the drinks. And next, we have to do these appetizers, which I don't think I'm going to give all the girls appetizers. Just because I really want to get out of here. But I'll give that to her. And I think I'm going to give the rest just regular main course meals. Some of these little Indian-ish looking food. I don't really know <laughs> what food goes with each culture. So I'm just going to hand it out even though it isn't really Indian or whatever. Ew, no eggplant. That looks nasty. Get this pork. I think that's like Japanese or something. I don't know. Um, You can get that, girl. And then let's see what else we got. Ooh, Nagari. I don't know. This shouldn't be the one that kills a <laughs> sim. I hope that's not. I don't think it is because I think it's puffer fish that kills. But I'm not sure. Um, I'm iffy on it. Tuna casserole. Ew. Um, let's see. You know what? I'm going to give it to Brielle. We just going to go with it. Hopefully my girl don't die. <laughs> you can get this sandwich. Tierra, and then we'll give Braley this little lobster. Tortellini. So yeah, $341. Y'all spending money, ain't you? But anyways, the girls are over here waiting for the meal, waiting for their food. Um, after this, I think they're gonna go ahead and head to a a what? Um karaoke. I want them to go do some karaoke. I found this awesome karaoke bar in the gallery and it looked pretty cool so I was like they should definitely do this like I have when I say I have a whole schedule planned <laughs> for them for this trip like to the T I planned this thing so hopefully <laughs> y'all guys enjoy all this stuff I planned and all that good stuff so yeah I think their food is on the way the waiter got our order now everyone is really just trying to get to know each other because half of them don't even know who anyone is. Oh, there's a little karaoke bar over here. That's pretty cool. The festival's going on down there, but we ain't not going to go. I don't know. It just looks so boring. Oh, my gosh. See, there, is, there really isn't much to do down here except, except drink like the... I guess it's like the good side and the bad side. I don't know. I just entered. Oh, there's August Alcina. Hey, boo. We're going to see you a little later. I already know. <laughs> but, anyways, uh, some of these girls are tired. No, you can't be tired. It's time to turn up, okay? Oh my goodness, where's our food? It's taking five for this thing to even come out. But I love this. Look at the little scenery in the background. Rooftop dining. Yes, for the win. Okay, so we're back. Um, our food is here. Some of the girls decided to get up and dance. <laughs> I guess the turn up is that real or whatever, but... They need to go ahead and sit their tail down. Okay, so you get next your food. I think they're thinking to that. So let me go ahead and set them back up to eat their dinner. Sit down, Braley, and eat your tortellini or whatever. But anyways, guys, they are about to go ahead and eat. If they will sit down. Stop dancing. Is everyone else eating? Yeah, everyone else is eating. Um, I really hope that Nagari does not kill Brio. Because <laughs> that would be tragic. But I really think I'm okay. I think it's the puffer fish one that m messes them up or whatever. But anyways. Yes, this is... <laughs> Sort of how I wanted it. That's how I mentioned it. You know when you finally get your sims to do what you want them to do and they actually do it? And it's actually turned out good? Yeah. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Y'all don't know. The struggle is real. <laughs> okay, so anyways. Um, they are almost done eating it. And look. 
guys look at the background we got fireworks <laughs> it's like the perfect way to kick off this girls chant a nice dinner fireworks and just everyone just getting along scratch that okay <laughs> Calm down, Chanel. It's not that serious. But anyways, um, yeah, how I mentioned everyone was getting along earlier. Well, it seems like Diamond and Tiara are not. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know what the problem is. But something is going on there. And I'm going to have Brielle go ahead and find out. Like, I really, it just, I was, I'm shocked. I did not know <laughs> that they were beefing this is interesting that's probably why they're not even like looking at each other right now like one is looking the other way <laughs> but anyways guys i think they are pretty much finished here they're just finishing up their drinks or whatever and just continuing continuing to socialize a little bit more so i think we're gonna go ahead and head out of here and continue our night it's already like what time is it 1 a.m Oh my, hey girl, I see you though. We need to add her to the crew. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're gonna go, go ahead and um, head out of here. It's getting pretty late. We've been here all night. So I will see y'all guys at the karaoke bar. <laughs> okay, so we are here at the karaoke bar. Everyone is finally walking in here. It looks amazing. Like I love how this whole thing is set up. Um, I got them in one of these bigger rooms. Lorena, you have to potty, so come use the restroom. Um, Chanel and Tegan are up about to sing their butts off on this thing. Uh, let's have them come and watch the karaoke. I wish I can just watch together. That'd be an interaction, but oh well. I have to do this one by one. So much fun. Um, oh wait. Oh, that was Chanel. Okay. Should you come and watch them seeing their butts off or whatever? This bar looks pretty dope. Kind of nightclub-ish. I'll go ahead and favorite it too if you guys want to um, play in this bar or whatever. This karaoke bar. But anyways, let's get back into the singing. Ooh. Chanel and Tegan. I don't know. <laughs> They, they voice ain't sounding too hot. It ain't sounding too good, but you know what? They just started now. I didn't really expect for any of them to really know how to sing because I doubt any of them, of them have the singing um, skill. But hey, you know, you're good for some newbies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got it. Okay, anyway, so girls out here dancing. Lorena and... Tiara out here talking about what? Who knows? Maybe to learn. I was gonna say, you know, this is a girls' trip. We just try to play nice with Diamond, okay? <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna have a uh, Brielle and Shade come up and sing just because they're my two babies, and I want them to come sing for us or whatever. So yeah, come on, Shade. Move Tegan, get out the way. We're gonna see how they do on the karaoke mic. Oh! Brielle better come with it though. <laughs> yes! My girl got it though. Yes! She better not disappoint. She doesn't even have the singing skill and she sounds beautiful. It's natural. It's this is natural talent right there, guys. Oh, shut it out of what you See you kind of up tinging. Thanks for getting in the way of the camera. It's like two who the hell is this? You just ugh. random ass sin. Go away. It's like complete opposites. Like, <laughs> uh, Brielle sounds amazing, of course, and Shade sounds hmm, like a banshee. <laughs> I love it though. 
I'm gonna have Bria come over here and give Shade a hug. Yes, I missed you, best friend. And I'm so glad to see you. And this trip is gonna be amazing. And this ends night one festivities. The girls had a really good time getting here and just traveling and hanging out and um, going to dinner and eventually leading up to this where they had a ton of fun tonight. But I am about to send them home because they're all pretty tired, um, obviously. And they all need to work on their needs. So that is what we're about to do right now. Put most of them to bed and yeah. So I'll see you at the penthouse suite though. <laughs> Okay, so the girls just got back and a ton of them are heading to bed. Someone gave me the idea to put their um, beds up. <laughs> a lot of y'all were talking and laughing and making fun because I had set their beds by the pool. So, <laughs> hey, if I was living, if I was sleeping over at someone's penthouse, you know, I would not be mad sleeping by the pool. But anyways... Um, I decided to go ahead and put their beds up here. They're already clean, so they should go to the right bed, I guess. But yeah, um, whoever's idea that was, thank you. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, some of y'all need to work on y'all's needs. Diamond, come use, oh, she couldn't use the restroom. Brielle was going in there. Okay, Diamond, well, you can find a restroom in a second or whatever. Lorena, you're not tired. So, I think I'm going to have you come and I guess watch a movie or something. Brielle's not doing anything either. I guess both of them can come in here and watch a movie to end the night. Well, it's not even nighttime. It's almost about to be morning. But, oh well. Um, you can come use this restroom. And then you can go to sleep. I don't know why you're just sitting in the hallway. She might be drunk off her ass. <laughs> contemplating on life's happenings or whatever but um or should they come sit by the pool i think they could come sit by the pool no, i'll wait let me go make them talk to each other first you know what we can watch this movie i don't think it's gonna be that bad i hope it doesn't wake them up though the girls that are sleeping actually before I do that, let me go ahead and change them into their sleep attire just so they're at least comfortable. Um, Brielle, Brielle, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go to bed. Come here. Change outfit. And put on this sleeping outfit. And come down here and watch a movie with Lorena. Okay, they're going to go watch, um, I don't know. Look, it's morning. <laughs> Y'all can watch the Clumsy Sisters. You and Brielle, and y'all can chill out, even though it's already morning. Like, they literally were up <laughs> from dusk till dawn. Okay, that didn't even make any sense. <laughs> They're up from dawn till dawn. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope, and it looks like the girls didn't wake up, so I guess that's good. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. End it here. Wait. Okay, wait. Someone's missing because one of those beds is empty. Tegan's in her bed. Who are Diamond? What is Diamond? Oh my goodness. Diamond is sleeping. <laughs> Why are you up here asleep on this little stool thing? No, girl. Get up. Junk out of her mind, too, obviously. <laughs> Come down here and sleep, please. Diamond, thank you. Um, but, anyways, guys. I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Let me get a good shot of my two beautiful sims. Um, I hope you guys totally enjoyed this episode. It was really fun and I had an awesome time getting the girls together and just coming on this trip and night one was amazing. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I only have three finals left so starting uh, sometime at the end of next week because I have two finals next week. So sometime then I'll be able to record, hopefully get these daily uploads. Okay. I'm gonna aim, I'm gonna try that for a goal. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed it. I love you guys and I'll talk to you all later. Bye bye.